Once you have received your Cloverflex card terminal, you can expect to find the following in the box. A flex device with rubber protector. An AC adapter with plug. A charging dock for the flex. A paper receipt roll. And a shield for the visually impaired. Now, let's look at setting up your flex. Firstly, connect the power lead into the power block and the AC adapter to the back of the charging cradle. Fit the cable into the rubber grip. Place the device on the charging cradle and wait for the charging icon to appear on the screen. Once it appears, press the power button on the right hand side of the flex to turn it on. Once the device has turned on for the first time, Select the language and region. Next, you will need to set up your connection type, which will be Wi-Fi or 3G. If you select Wi-Fi, you will need to know the username and password of the network you're connecting to. As the Flex is a card terminal, in line with PCI compliance, it cannot connect to an open Wi-Fi network. It must have a password or WPA2 security. Once the device has connected to a network, it will begin initialising itself and downloading updates. This may take some time. When all downloads are complete, you will be prompted to input the 8-digit activation code. This will be emailed to the Flex account holder's email address or can be accessed on your Clover Online dashboard. If you're having any issues, you can contact Clover Support. Now we will insert the paper receipt roll. To do this, turn the flex over and open the cover on its underside. Note the drawing illustrating how to fit the roll. Insert the paper so its leading edge feeds from the bottom of the roll. Place the roll into the paper tray and close the cover. Listen for the click. The next step is to choose what Clover bundle you are going to use. If you are using the Flex as a car terminal alone, please select the Payments Plus option, as there is no additional charge for using this bundle. If you are using the Flex alongside a Clover station, you will need to choose the Register Light or Register Bundle. If you have any queries on this step, please contact Clover Support. The next step asks if you want to install the Clover Wireless Manager app. This is for use when Wi-Fi is not available. There is a SIM card in the Flex and can be used for connection to a 3G network. There is an additional charge for using this app. In this instance, we are not going to install it, but it can be added going forward by opening More Tools and searching for Wireless Manager. Next, you need to create the PIN number for the device. This is a six-digit number, but can be reduced to four in settings if required. Confirm your PIN number to proceed. Finally, we select whether or not a PIN number is required to use the Flex. If tips are signed for on screen or on a receipt, you will be asked if you want cashback activated as well as its denominations. All of these options can be changed at a future date. The screen you see now is the Flex's home screen. You can access the pre-installed apps, move them around as you please by pressing down on the app for a second, access the Clover support phone number and view your MID.